Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today I want to talk to you about spotting trend reversals, okay? I want to tell you about my criteria on how I find strong trend reversals, okay? So, to begin with, I was looking through some different currency pairs today, and I'm trying to find a good example, and I came across pound USD, okay, on a daily chart. I like to look at a daily chart because it's not too broad of a time frame, it's not too narrow. Okay, it's kind of in between, and this will give you a good long-term uh, trend analysis, if you will. All right. So right now on pound USD, we see we have currently the only signal we have on my Excalibur trend indicator is a red arrow. Okay, meaning there's a downtrend, and we definitely see the price has been going down. But we also see that if I zoom in just here, we see that the price is hit. Uh, a strong level of support where the price is right now. All right, it can't. It, it, well, the price had gone up to here, down the support, came back up, formed a red arrow, came down, came back up, came down, and uh, kept going up and down. Right, but every time it hit this uh, level of support and bounced up. Now, right now, we don't know if it's going to keep going up because. If you notice, every time it hit the support and went back up, every time it went up, it went up a little bit less than the time before. All right. So now, how much further is it going to go up? And you see right now, you know, I've been watching this for the last several hours. And if I zoom in a little more, we see that the price is fighting to go up, but not really. All right. And there's no blue arrows that have formed on the daily chart right so is this going to keep going down or is it going to go back up we don't know if it goes up it's probably not going to go up too much all right so what we need to do is first of all uh go ahead and mark this area of support that we see right now okay because we know that this is a pretty strong level of support right here where this price has bounced off of numerous times. And we see the price has been going in a downtrend right here. You can visually eyeball that and see the down slope right here, right? And if we go to the toolbar where it says draw a trend line, click on that. And we come up to this level of uh, resistance. This is the highest point right here, okay? And then we come down here and put it right about there okay and we see that the price had hit you know this level I mean this uh, point right here on the resistance this point here and all these points okay so that's a very very strong trend line and when you have a trend line that is met by a strong support or resistance level then you have the perfect setup for a reversal to occur okay but you do not want to place a buy trade right now until this um, you know price these candlesticks break out of this trend line all right and if we come down to a smaller time frame you're going to see more up and down arrows all right if I come down to a four hour watch this Okay, and I zoom out a bit. So here we see uh, we see a red arrow here and another red arrow. Okay, before all we saw was one red arrow and no blue arrows. All right, and if we come down to a one-hour chart, we're going to see even more blue and red arrows. All right, go down to a one-hour chart, you're going to see a lot more uh, you know reversals. Right. So we see all these arrows. So this all confirms, you know, my analysis. Now, according to this on the hourly chart, we have a very, very strong level of support. And it's going to come back up. But I do not want to place a buy trade until this price breaks that trend line. All right. And this might take another day or two. 
if I see the price uh, touch this trend line and come back down, I could place a sell trade and wait for it to come back down and touch the support again. My guess, and this is only a guess right at this point, is that the price is going to go up, touch this trend line, touch this resistance, and come back down again. And what's going to happen is that the candlestick is going to get really small inside this uh, inside this wedge, okay, and inside this slope. And what's going to happen is the candlestick is going to get small, and they're eventually going to get trapped, and they're going to break out, and they're going to break out and shoot up, and it's going to form a new uptrend. All right. So whenever you have a downtrend like this matched by a strong level of support, that's called a fallen wedge. Okay. I know I've said this before, and I'm going to say this over and over again, but this is exactly what we're looking for when we have a possible reversal. Okay. And you could right now, you could technically place a buy trade right now. All right. And wait for this to touch this trend line. And if it starts to reverse and come back down, close it. Okay, take a little bit of profit and be done. All right, and then wait for it to go back up again, or wait for it to come down here and touch the support again, and then place another buy trade. And then if it breaks, you know, keep the trade open. All right, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, and if you place a buy trade right now, for example. And you held it open and touched this uh, resistance, touched this trend line, and then broke. You would have a massive amount of pips. All right, I would hold this trade open. You know, probably for the next day or two, just to wait for another uh, red arrow to form. All right, on either the four-hour or or one-hour chart. If you use the one-hour chart, you're going to be able to close it a lot faster. You know, it's, uh, it's up to you what time frame you use either one hour four hours fine but to be 100 percent certain okay that this will not go down further i would definitely wait until the trend is broken and once price shoots out of this uh trend line by about say two candlesticks if you have two candlesticks that shoot up above this then we know we have a new trend all right then you could place a buy trade and wait for another error. All right, it's kind of up to you. The only thing is, if you place a buy trade right now, there's always that chance that yes, this could drop further. All right, we don't know. We're not, nothing's guaranteed in forex, but if you follow all these patterns, we see that yes, um, these trends are. You trend once a trend is broken. And you have a new trend you can follow the right you can ride the wave on the new trend if we look at here right for example um we had a downtrend here all right and when this shot up we don't know but it could have reversed here and came back down but it definitely broke and then it did come back down but it did it shot up again so ultimately when this broke we had a new uptrend okay and if you waited and this is a one hour chart so if you waited for the next red arrow and closed it you know you would have some de decent profit you would have some drawdown in the process and i probably would have closed this trade you know if it came back down if i saw it reversing but just uh you know just looking at the past we definitely had an uptrend form and then another downtrend all right and that's you know we we have this all the time uptrends and downtrends if we look here you know we could say that we had an uptrend here with this arrow and then we have a, a red arrow here but not until this uptrend is broken do we place a trade and ride this ride this out okay so we get another uh, blue arrow all right which would be here all right and then once we we see this uh, going down and we have a new downtrend then we want to wait until that downtrend is broken again and just keep doing that over and over again all right so eventually 
this downtrend that we're in right now is going to be broken again. All right, I guarantee it. And it's going to come back up. And that's what we kind of want to wait for. Like I said, you, there's a very, very strong chance right now that if you place a trade, it's definitely going to go up and keep going up. You know, that's kind of a little bit of a gamble, but I'll leave that up to you if you place a trade now or wait until the trend line is broken. For me personally, I just wait until this trend line is broken and then I get into a trade. Okay. So anyhow, I hope this uh, clarifies a little bit about my personal criteria on how I spot trend reversals and when I like to get into a trade. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments, please contact me on Facebook. There is a, a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook account. Okay. Contact me there first. Also, there is a link below in the description for my private Facebook group. Okay. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so. And that way you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and myself or our other traders can assist you and answer your questions or have a, a group discussion. Okay. So with that said, just uh, contact me if you have any questions and uh, thank you and have a wonderful day.